Welcome back to Geek and Plunder. I'm already at my third video on this new channel, but I do have to admit that on this one I'm cheating a little bit. Because today I'm doing a video that I already did months ago for my other channel, the Damesies channel, which I'll be talking more about at the end of this video. But since I started Geek and Plunder, I figured this would fit way better on this channel. So I'm kind of redoing it. What we're going to do today is assemble this beautiful Lego kit. It is the actor one from the Ghostbusters movie. Now, this one specifically is from the latest movie, which I have not seen yet. Yeah. But I am a really big Ghostbusters fan. I used to watch those first movies when I was a kid. They were catching ghosts. Today we can do that in Phasmophobia, but back then it was just mind-blowing. And I always wanted that car, the Ecto-1. It is an ambulance with character. So when I saw this one standing at the shop, I knew I had to have it. Now, I said we're going to assemble this one, but if you pay attention, you might already have noticed it back there, right above me. Because yeah, I did it already months ago. This box is just empty. In any case, what I'm going to do for this video is show you guys the time lapse I made when I assembled it. And then afterwards, we're going to discuss the set. Alright, let's get started.
And here it is, in all its glory. Let me put it down quickly, because I'm so afraid of dropping it. That would be so bad, oh shit. Something fell off already. Look at this, it's a barrel light. I know, I know, dropping it would have made good content, but I'm not willing to make that sacrifice. I'm sorry, because I just love this piece. It looks so beautiful, it's huge. It is over 2,350 pieces. I think 2,352, something like that. It took me a total of eight hours to assemble it completely, which is not bad. I've seen people doing it in six, I've seen people doing it in 12, so I'm kind of in the middle. But it was a very enjoyable time. I'm not a big Lego guy, I have a few sets and I really enjoy it, but I know a few people that are way more into it than I am. But stuff like this, which is tied into other things I like, I'm always willing to spend money on that. Because A, it is very beautiful to look at and to put on the cabinet, but B, it's also very therapeutic. It's almost like meditation. Once you start building it and you slowly see it taking shape is one of the most fulfilling feelings I've had in a while. It is just so relaxing. And just to prove that point, you know usually when you get Lego sets you have that small booklet? This is the book that I had to use to assemble this. And look, if I I can stay calm and centered while working my way through a book like this and following all these pages of instructions. I hate instructions. Then it needs to be really relaxing. I can tell you that much. I'm so happy that I got it and uh, it's going to stay in my collection forever. Until I drop it maybe. Nah, please, come on. Now there are a few things about this set that I wanna share with you guys. First off, you can drive, and not only back and forth, there's also a way of steering the thing. If you turn the lamp on top of the car, that will kind of pivot the wheels and allow you to steer it. I don't know why you wanna do that, but it is fun. Second, when you drive it, there's a lot of pieces on top of it that just start moving. And then there's all these pieces that open up. There's the trunk where you can see the engine, but all the other doors basically open up. And some of them hold really nice, tasty surprises. Like this Stay Puff Marshmallow. If you've seen the first movie, you know what this is about. The one big side door can open up and there's a seat in there. If you push the other side of the car, it will pop out and flip around with a little help, like it does in a movie. At least that's what I've been told. Now I've seen it in trailers. I don't need to see the movie to know these things. I'll watch it sometime, I swear. To be honest, I'm waiting to board a plane, to open that menu and see the movie in there. That's basically the way I want to see this movie. Six miles high. Yeah, that's weird. Anyways, my favorite part about the car is on the back. If you open up the back hatch, you can see a little drone car that is kind of stashed in the car. And if you pull this lever, it will just pop up and roll away. Don't ask me why, I really enjoy that. It makes me giggle every single time. It's those kinds of details that just make me happy. I'm sorry. Look, if you're into Lego, this is a set that I would definitely recommend. I think there's a lot to it. I've seen some people kit it out with lights and LEDs to make it even more spectacular. So have a blast. And for people that are Ghostbusters fans, this is almost a must-have. In some way, it makes you appreciate the Act of One even more if you have to build it brick by brick yourself. It is 150 bucks if I remember correctly, so it is quite pricey for a set, but in the end, I think you'll enjoy it for the rest of your day, so go for it. I'm going to put it back up there and it's going to stay there forever. So in every single video that you're going to see on this channel that is filmed from this viewpoint, you'll see it up there. I'm keeping it around. Now, before I go, I wanted to talk about the Damesies channel where I posted this video originally. Like I said, Geek and Plunder is going to be all about geeky stuff. And on Damesies, I'm going to focus a little more on my traveling and all my equipment. I use a lot of equipment to film these videos and I really enjoy doing research on it and learning how to use all of it, which isn't always easy. And I want to share that experience with you guys. So basically, if you're into traveling, if you're into gear, go check out the Damesies channel. Now, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've seen it for the second time, I apologize. I hope you enjoyed it again. Now, the next video is going to be something completely new, I promise. So make sure to subscribe. All right, guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.